Buried deep in the Biden administration's proposed budget, you'll find some new politically correct language. Since it's now offensive to identify someone as a mother, that term has been replaced with birthing people. We know what this is about. It is about the transsexuals. It's fascinating that they feel the need to erase women, the concept entirely. The maternal mortality crisis among black birthing people in the United States. Black birthing people. And birthing people. For birthing people. Black birthing people. And our black birthing person. For all birthing persons. There are not enough black workers of color, leaving black birthing people with limited autonomy or opportunity to receive racially concordant care. Protect black birthing people <laughs> and to save lives. Yo, Uncle Joe. What? You ever heard of birthing people? Heard of what? Birthing people. That's some of them Russian people, ain't it? <laughs> nah, birthing people is what they call mothers now. That's what they call mothers now. Like my mother, your mother. That's what you're talking about? Yeah, they changed it to birthing people because other people than women give birth. <laughs> but what other people besides women give birth? <laughs> well, they got these trans men and non-binary people too. Hold up. Did that these people born women, but then they say they a man, and they get all that stuff done to them, so they look like a man too? Yeah, non-binary. That's them people who say they ain't male or female, and they go by pronouns like they and them instead of he and she. So since trans men and non-binary people can give birth, they not calling everybody who give birth, birthing people. Lord have mercy. Yeah, go ahead. Hurry up and let me hear that foolishness. My name is Ari. I am transgender. I live in this world as a man. I always wanted to carry a child. I always wanted to be pregnant. I got pregnant using a known donor, my family. We put his sperm into a syringe and Caitlin actually put the syringe into me on his apartment bathroom floor. Mm -hmm. And then I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. I'm Francois. I identify as genderqueer. Non-binary is someone whose gender doesn't fall within the context of the binary that we set up in society. I am not male. I'm not female. I'm somewhere floating around in there. I'm trans. I'm non-binary. And I'm pregnant. People are going to think I'm a girl. Now that I'm pregnant, it's constant. Mums, uh, childbirth isn't gendered. So yeah, that's really annoying. Now let me get this straight. The men say they women. Nah, Uncle June, it's women who say they men. Okay. So the men, nah, women. All right now. So women who say they men and don't want to be called women, but want to do the one thing that only a woman can do, which is have a baby. Yeah, that's it. But that don't make no sense. So they feel like men trapped in women bodies. So they turn into a man to get out. But the one most womanist thing a woman can do, which is have a baby, that don't make them feel trapped. Now you would think that being pregnant would show up make them feel trapped. Downright claustrophobic if you ask me. Now see, when you put it that way, it sounds like a whole bunch of foolishness, don't it? I don't want to be a woman. Don't even want to be called a woman but I want to do that one thing that only a woman can do, and that's to have a baby. Now, they just sound like they making this stuff up now. Don't they now? They're just making it up, ain't they? See, but the truth be told, see, I got more problems with these social justice warrior politicians than I do with these people here. Now, they can do whatever they want to do in their own little corner of the world, to each his own, that's my philosophy. Just like that song said, to each his own, that's my philosophy. You gonna do what's right for you, and I'm gonna do what's right for me. That's the way it's gonna be. <laughs> but like I said now, it's these damn SJW, these social justice warrior politicians that I got the problem with. They'll do anything for a vote now, won't they? Now let me ask you this thing right here. Did the SJ politicians ask the women, I'm talking about the binary women now. Did they ask the binary women if it was okay with their new classification? No, nah, they didn't ask them. You know why they didn't ask them? Because they only care about one thing, and that's that vote. 
So all you women listening to me, did you know that you've been reclassified? <laughs> did you get the memo? <laughs> did you get that word from your SJW politician up there in D.C.? Did your local SJW politician ask you binary women if you was okay with being lumped in with all the non-binary women? Did you even know that you was in a new group? And they called in your new group birthing people. <laughs> ain't that some? Now ain't that some? Now how long you think it's gonna be before we see these birthing people cars all around the place? Now what used to be Mother's Day, now we got birthing people day. And then you go down at the clerk like, you have any of them old school Mother's Day cards left around here somewhere? And he's gonna be like, no, so we ain't got none of them left around here nowhere, but we got some birthing people cards that just came in. I don't want no birthing people card. I want a Mother's Day card. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then, and then now, now also, look at him. Imagine being out with your wife, and she says, excuse me, why not go to the birthing person room? What is the birthing person room? Or when you introducing your parents, you say, I'd like to introduce you to my father, Cecil, and my birthing person here, Annie Mae. Or you're filling out your paperwork and they say, now don't forget to put your birthing person's maiden name on there. And how about this here? How about this here? If you're sitting down with your daughter, you're sitting down with your young daughter, and you say, now, now baby, now one day you're going to be a birthing person, so you need to know a few things. Oh, Lord have mercy. You know, give me the old days when things were simple. You know what I mean? Even when people were different, who had different opinions, different lifestyles, they still had simplicity. You know what I'm talking about? Now, it used to be just the L and the G. You see, all that trouble came when they added the mother letters, the B and the T and the Q and that plus. Now, see, that's the one right there. That plus, you can hide a whole bunch of things up in there. You can hide things like birthing people and whatever else you want to put up in there. Now, that can be anything. So you know you got some foolishness up in there, don't you? I know darn well you do. Nothing but some foolishness up in that plus. Watch out for that plus. You know what, now? It's going to be some foolishness up around here. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're headed. But I know we're headed in the wrong direction. We ain't headed in the right direction. Not this world here. What is so much foolishness going on around here with this gender stuff? They just making up their own rules as they go away. They just making rules on the fly. On the fly. But you got these politicians who co-signing this stuff. If you didn't have these folks co-signing this stuff, it'll stay right where it's supposed to be, right over there with them people. So here they go. You know what I'm saying? And you know, Uncle June, they got a, they got a group of non-binary folks out there too who don't give their babies no gender when they born. They don't give them no gender. Yeah, instead of calling them babies, they call them babies. They call them what? Babies. It's a non-binary baby. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Having a baby used to be a straightforward proposition. You could have a boy or you could have a girl. A handful of parents across America are deliberately keeping their children's sex hidden and instead raising so-called babies. The idea is that only the children themselves should be able to decide whether they are boys or girls. Now see that? Now you see right there? Now see that's what happens when you plant them seeds. When you plant them seeds of discontent, it starts to grow into a full-blown tree, a genderless tree. So I guess we gonna have a future with no genders, huh? Like I keep telling people, you better get yourself together. You better get yourself together now. I done told you. With all this foolishness out here in this world, talking about baby instead of baby, and talking about a, a, instead of mother, we gonna call them earthen people. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going. But I tell you this right here. This new generation and this generation coming up, they gonna have to deal with this foolishness. So I don't know what it's gonna be 10, 15, 20 years down the road. I ain't gonna have to deal with it. But I tell you what, it ain't going in the right direction. And I suggest that this world make a U-turn and get back on track. That's my take on it.
is Uncle Junior with my nephew. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, you hear me?